Hey YouTubers, uh, it's Pauline from Plotting Along on this gorgeous, gorgeous day down uh, north of Manchester. Absolutely brilliant. And uh, yeah, we've had everybody on today. Uh, Max being on and everything. Everybody's all getting ready uh, at the start of the planted season. So uh, it's all systems go. Now, just what I thought I'd say quick thank you thank you thank you so much to my subscribers if it wasn't for you i uh, i'd be wondering if it was worth me continuing you're absolutely stars and love you the bits i do and please please continue to subscribe to my channel and uh, i'll have lots and lots of things uh, to uh, tell you about now uh, I'm going to do um, a competition and I'm going to do something different uh, than maybe some of you've seen so I think we'll have a bit of uh, some fun with that and uh, we'll take it from there now in this episode uh, I've got um, a step now me and Mike are not that big <laughs> And we, we have problems getting our, our legs over the steps. So we've cut out some pallets and made them into steps. So I'll show you that. And then I'll show you the new greenhouse that I'm in. Now, uh, I'll also give you the website as well where I got the polycarbonate. But uh, we're quite chuffed with this at the present moment. Uh, we've put a grapevine in can't have a grapevine can you without so I mean we've got a white grapevine the uh, other uh, grapevine in Karen's is blooming well and that's a, a black grapevine so we're getting there and uh, we'll try and make it as uh, interesting as can be for you so from there let me show you a few of the videos that we did all right see you later you know that we've uh, we built the greenhouse and everything well you know it's a bit of a height for us uh, when we're uh, trying to get in and out so we made this now it's dead simple uh i michael turn it over for me no it's no need it's just just a piece of a cut down pallet one on the inside one on the outside so we can just just a nice little step we built the greenhouse on this wooden frame to give us extra height so that we're not crouching in it but so it does mean a little awkward sometimes stepping out inside when you've got something so you know just a, a simple step and a, a pallet didn't cost us anything was, and one on the inside as well yeah it was just as i say just the end of uh, a pallet i mean that's what's remaining of the pallet we've got but we thought we'd do one on the, our little shed as well so there you are so a cheap and easy thing now i'll get around to painting it because we've got to do it the regimental uh color don't we so uh yeah that's uh that's it for now well this is the end result uh of the the pallet so i've been able to make two steps which i don't know if i can show you is like that so i hope you can see in the light so uh yeah very useful for um me and mike with our short legs and i've also done the same inside there outside the greenhouse and inside to make it easier so uh, there you go so jobs are going to be so it's cost me nothing but and a couple of nails a bit of a bit of time and some uh, fence paint so there you go well as i say it's been a busy day on the uh, allotment and uh, all the weeds absolutely crazy it is now I've got an idea, uh, and it was a tip I picked up from somebody about getting rid of your weeds and making use of them. Now, you drown your wheels, uh, you can drown your weeds. Now, uh, usually, as I say, you get the protect your weeds, 
finestrial ones, which uh, most of us get, and you put them on the compost to rot down. But the seeds remain, and then it germinates again in your compost, and it can be a pain. Well, why not put the weeds to such as good use as uh, this tip is? Now, if you remove such as your docks, your dandelions, and your bindweed, instead of putting it on the compost, stick it in a bucket of water for six weeks or a barrel. Doesn't make any difference. So what happens is, is that it rots down. Now it rots to a stage that you can actually put the uh, mulch, mulch onto um, the compost bin, and it won't make any difference. But the liquid, it, it's pretty good. For, uh, I've been advised, and uh, it becomes a weak fertilizer after six weeks. So you could use it on your plants and make use of the damn blooming weeds so um yeah it's only a little tip from for myself and that's so uh, try it out